Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today it is the spring fishing tourney and CJ is here and I've done a little bit of fishing today already but we're gonna do some more fishing because there's more rewards to get. So um, first things first, CJ, hi. Um, let me just empty the cooler here. So this fishing tourney, how it works is you get points based on how many fish you can catch in three minutes. So you can do this as many times as you want um, until 6 p.m. today. And all the fish that you catch will be stored in this cooler so you don't have to worry about managing your inventory, which is great. And you get so many points and for points you can exchange for prizes. I've actually exchanged all of the prizes so far, um, but I still want to reach 300 points because there are bronze, silver and gold trophies to collect and I must collect them all because I must. <laughs> so let's just start off here <clears throat> excuse me, with a little fishing tourney run. Uh, we'll just walk around the island real quick. So, as you may have noticed, I do have bait in my inventory, however, I don't think that bait is really necessary. It speeds things up a little bit, um, but I don't think it's necessary at all. I'm gonna have to stop talking every few seconds to catch these fish. Um, so, basically, if you catch three fish, the run is worth it because you get a little amount of bonus points, but you shouldn't be able to, you should manage to catch at least five fish in my experience. With catching. <laughs> There's been a couple runs where um, I've found some watered eggs from the bunny day event, which is still going on right now for another day. So in terms of using bait, it's useful to avoid water eggs and trash because they don't count towards your score. There we go. But um, I've been using a little bit of bait just to try and catch fish that you can find at the pier, which at the moment is tuna and blue marlin. And I haven't been that successful, which kind of sucks. I've only managed to catch one blue marlin from about 50 or 60 bait. Um, so yeah, my, my luck hasn't been the best, but I'll go and do a, a pier run with some bait just to show you how it works. I think um, if you start off the run and you go straight to the sea or the nearest body of water and you use a stack of, you can probably get a full stack of 10 bait. I think 9 is usually what I was getting but I didn't find it to be that much better than just walking around town. Considering the amount of time it takes to collect bait. Um, I feel like it's not really worth it, but if you want to just get through things quickly, it could feel faster if you have a lot of bait stuff piled up. So of course fishing bait you get from digging up manila clams on the shore and crafting them into bait one for one. So it, it does take a little bit of time. And I had, a, I had about 40 bait stocked up I think. So I went ahead and got a little bit more before we started here. Ah, oh, this is so awkward. Quite often a fish will spawn here and I can't actually reach it and if I jump over my little, little stepping stone it scares it away. So quite often I have to just not catch that fish because it's not worth it. Let's see if I can get one more here before the time runs out. There we go. So that's our three minutes up, that is just fine. All the animals are out and about doing some fishing and their, their sporty gear and their caps, which is kind of cute. So I got six fish, that was just fine. I think seven is more accurate to an average. Um, so like I say, the bait, even though it speeds up time, it kind of doesn't when you factor in how much time it takes to collect the clams. So it's up to you, but I am collecting points still, so let me sell the fish in the cooler and we'll go for another run here. Can make an awful lot of money doing this, especially if you save up expensive fish to sell to him. It's definitely a good way to make some cash monies. 
So let's try another run. This time we're gonna run to the pier and we'll see if we can catch any blue marlin or tuna. Takes a little bit more time to run over there. So it's not gonna be like maximum fish returns, but I think it's worth it because I can use my bait and possibly get a really good fish. Cause I do need uh, three more blue marlin and one more tuna, so you know, there's there's still work to be done for sure. So there's a much better way to line yourself up than I just did. So let me catch this fish and we'll try again with that. Oh man, look, I'm wasting so much time. <laughs> there we go. It's a dory. Sorry, a surgeon fish. <laughs> So I think um, if you face downwards, you can pretty much just directly cast your rod, depending on where you're standing. What I find works better is if you stand at an angle. On the pier specifically. <laughs> These split up sentences. And uh, it works just a little bit better. So if I stand at the angle, I can pretty much just cast my rod and it's fine. A little bit of a slow reaction there, which means this is probably not a big fish. Yeah, it's a sea bass. That's okay. So really just hoping for the tuna and blue marlin. This isn't exactly 100% efficient. But it works just fine. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I've been fishing, I've probably done about a couple hours um, so far and I'm, I'm close to getting 300 points, which is the main goal to get that gold trophy. Main gold. <laughs> Slightly misaligned there, that's okay though. Yet another sea bass. I just feel bad wasting my bait somewhere that's not the pier because really there's no reason to use fishing bait unless it's a location that's really specific to try and catch fish. So I'm using it here because of the pier spawn. You can only have one at a time and I feel like I never get pier spawns anyway. I did use some on the river, the clifftop rivers, because I was trying to catch a string fish for ages. So I did use some for that. Um, So ridiculous. So we're probably gonna get eight fish here so not that much better than before because we had that little run and I kind of messed up a bit at the start so one more hopefully we can catch it in ten seconds. Not quite. It's not gonna count is it? Damn! <laughs> I was so close. Oh well that's okay. Seven. We'll run back and exchange our points and then what I'll do is I'll do a run that's just straight to the ocean and fish to see if we can get 10 because I feel like that's kind of the maximum. Hey CJ, I got some more fishies just for you. So I think when I ended off I was around about 240 something. So I'll need to do a couple more runs to get 300 and then I can exchange all my extra points for some duplicate items. But I have gone and placed all of the items in my house so I can show you what I've got thus far. Alright, this one's going to be super fast, run to beach and use bait. <laughs> that's what this run's going to be. 500 bells, that's just fine. You don't have to pay for the first time you do the tourney, but anytime after that you have to pay 500, but I mean, I, I feel like there's no way you couldn't get your money back, you know? All right, here we go. Stand on the diagonal, cast your rod, should be fine. See how many fish we can get. There is some luck involved. It depends how many times the fish nibbles and stuff that can add on to your time and make things a bit more challenging.
Oh yeah, it's two down. Let's see what we can do here. Three bites that time. <laughs> I tend to count them in my head, so I know that if um, there's been four nibbles, it's guaranteed to be on the fifth one, so I do count it in my head. It really scares me when the fish bites on the very first nibble. I always panic, and that's often, you know, if I'm gonna lose the fish, that's the reason why, because it's done a really fast bite immediately. We're doing okay though. Five, so we're plus seven seconds on this uh, on this speed run. This is C Sports after all. This is a C Sports live stream. That one took a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Except for turkey fish. What are you? Make up your mind. Ooh, it's a big one. Sea bass, probably, or a red snapper. No! How dare you turn away? Oh, this fish is gonna lose my streak for sure. <laughs> no, my run! Dang it. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna hit 10 now, thanks to this red snapper. So it will make me a lot of money, so that's nice. I don't mind that at all. Come on, fishy. Swim this way. Okay, 28 seconds. Oh my gosh. I don't think it's possible, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh no, I... Oh, the angle. <laughs> Messed up. That's okay, we should still get nine fish. If this one hurries up. Should be good. Yeah, okay, nine. That's pretty good. Ten's definitely possible. I think even eleven might be possible if you get, you know, the good number of bites. But compared to just walking around your town, I don't feel like the bait's worth it. But I, I do have quite a good town layout because I have done a lot of uh, terraforming and waterscaping, so my setup might be better. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll do another run over to the pier because once again I just really want those blue marlin and tuna for my collection. 9,000 bells, awesome. I think I'm gonna have to uh, save up some cash for the next fishing tourney. Or save up some fish for the next fishing tourney to make some cash rather. Because I'm getting crazy money and I'm not even trying so... Alright, three minutes. I got it. So we're gonna do one more pier run and then I'll just do some regular walking around town. And hopefully that'll be us at 300 points and then I can relax a little bit and just show you around the town and all the usual stuff that we do here. So let's get going. Dang it, mad cast immediately. I think with a pier, you kind of do have to reposition yourself. I've not found a guaranteed spot where things are successful yet. Hey, it's a Nemo. We got a Nemo and a Dory. Some more fish bait. Here we go. Oh man, that one took ages. There was this huge pause between bites and I was like, hello? Did the fish give up? Because that's something that definitely used to happen in other Animal Crossing games, but I don't know if it happens in this one where the fish just kind of decides no. So, <laughs> no big fish yet. Still nervous. I was very nervous earlier, 
I've actually managed to complete a Nook Miles task and I'll show you when I'm done with this, but I'm very proud of myself, so I was nervous earlier. Dang it. <laughs> Landed right on the fish's head. There we go. We're doing it. Red snapper, good. Some good money. So CG buys the fish for basically an extra 50%. So red snapper is usually worth 3,000 bells, I think. So he'll now be worth 4,500. So big difference. So if you can stash a load of really um, valuable fish. Definitely pays off if you keep them for CJ. He does visit your town separate from the fishing tourney, but it's random. So if you know a fishing tourney is coming up, you can kind of plan for it, which is good. Right, I'm thinking maybe we can do one more after this. Ah, 14 seconds, not enough time. That's okay, still no big fish, but at least I have this, this one big fish right here. So yeah, um, for the fishing tourney, I actually managed to complete today Castmaster, which is catching 100 fish in a row without missing or messing up or anything like that. So I managed to get Castmaster today. I got into like a real good rhythm with catching fish, so... Very cool, I got the first two on, on launch day, <laughs> on the 20th, and then um, I obviously messed up and haven't gotten 100 since, but now I have 100, so that's good. And I also got down here, um, there's a little fishing tourney stamp for the spring fishing tourney, so that was kind of cute. So there'll be one of those for each of the seasons, I guess. Hey, yeah, this is a, a marlin, I caught it at the pier earlier. He's, he's going to stay in my collection for a little while because I'm trying to collect... Um, I have one in the museum already, but I'd like another four so that I have one that I can display or ask blathers about, and then three to make a model for when CJ's around uh, visiting my town other than the fishing tourney. I want to make sure I have three so I can make a model. Uh, let me see here. Seven fish, nine points. Thank you very much. Not quite at 300 yet, so we'll just do like a little chill run. We'll just walk around the, the river and stuff. We sell all these. How much? 8,000. Cool. I mean, the money just, you know, it rolls in. It really does. Let me go again, please. Still gonna aim for 300. Maybe this run or the next one? I can't quite remember where I was at with points. Um, you can't track how big the fishes are. It doesn't, um, it's not like in previous games where you're competing for a size. It's uh, just a case of how many you catch and you get points on how many. So it, it's quantity this time around. Yeah, mom fishy. Horse mackerel. So my fish collection is actually coming along pretty well. I've caught everything that I can catch at the moment as of March and April. Um, but I am still working on getting some... Oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump on the stepping stone. Whoops. Um, I am still working on getting a stockpile of fish to make models out of. That's my goal at the moment with collecting critters. And I have all of the bugs ready so I can make models of those. But I'm still missing some of the raider fish. Ooh, that was first bite. First bite. Always makes me nervous. <laughs> it's kind of hard fishing around here because the waterfalls are actually surprisingly noisy. Um, they can make it a little bit difficult. And I have a lot of waterfalls, so it's a little bit loud over here. So much prefer going down this way. Here we go. Come on. Come on, fishy. I don't want to pull out the water. Ah, there we go. 
So many times I've broken my streak because I've reeled in thinking it's not gonna see the bait and it does. Gosh, that drives me mad. Although, seeing as I've completed all levels of Castmaster, I guess I don't actually need to keep the streak anymore. But we'll just see how long I can go. That's still fun. Gosh, still have to close my eyes every time. <laughs> just trying to concentrate, you know? Just makes it eat. Everyone has does this slightly differently. Some people rely on the audio cue, like me. Some people rely on the visual cue, and some people do both, but I can't do the visual at all. Here it goes. <laughs> Has to be audio only for me, completely. 100% of the time, every time. Alright, we're actually- usually all the fish I catch, um, I never do a second lap, but we're on a second lap here. It's because I missed that other one in the river, I think. I'm not gonna have enough time, unfortunately, because you have to actually have the fish in your hand for it to count. Um, there's been loads of times where I've been reeling in a fish and the timer's gone to zero and it's not counted because the fish didn't actually hit my hand yet. So that's always fun. <laughs> you probably need at least 20 seconds to catch a fish because if it bites five times that takes a surprisingly long time. Eight points for that one. Cool. How are we doing? We're still not at 300 so we're going again. We're going again and then I will show you all of the cool fish items because I put them all in my house. And then I can just exchange any spare points for duplicates. Um, helps if I actually <laughs> helps if I actually start the run again before just walking to the, the river. I'm just like, gotta go fish, gotta go fast, gotta go fish. All right, we're in. Three minutes on the clock. Man, I love his cooler. It gives me such Splatoon vibes. Like the brand logos from Splatoon, it just makes me think of that so much. I love it. Alright, one down. At least we're doing this in the daytime so there's no spooky water bugs to scare us because, man, the water bugs are not nice. I do not like them. They creep me out. <laughs> They're basically like the equivalent of the giant isopod from New Leaf, but I feel like they're worse somehow. Like they're they, to me, they're I think they're worse than the giant isopod. Although that was pretty creepy as well. Oh man, I want to pop that balloon so bad. I'm not gonna though, for the good of the fishing tourney. Oh, here's a big fish. It'll just be a black bass though, unfortunately. <laughs> Nothing else will spawn with that fish shadow at the moment. If it was nighttime, it might be a snapping turtle though. In before this is a tire. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say I've just totally jinxed myself and that's definitely gonna be a piece of trash now, but no! Amazingly, it was not. Here we go. Oh, fortunately, I haven't actually fished up any trash this time. Um, today I've caught a couple of water eggs, but honestly not as much as you would think. I think um, since they patched the game to make the eggs less frequent, I think it's genuinely helped, so that's good. Plus I feel like they might have reduced the numbers of spawns for the fishing tourney. I'm not sure about that, but it certainly feels like if there has been a fish shadow that's the size of what a water egg would be, it's tended to not actually be a water egg, so there might be something in that, I'm not sure. Probably looking at one more fish here. Big 
There we go. Man, I'm really disappointed that I haven't managed to get more big fish from the pier. Because I probably used about, I think I said like 50 to 60 bait. And it's um not really giving me much in the way of returns. So they must just be extremely rare because I haven't been finding them. Aside from that one guy over on my beach just chilling. Alright. Yeah, only six that time. Not as good. Are we at 300 yet? Not quite. Must be soon now. I don't want to look. <laughs> I want it to be a nice surprise. So let's sell these fishies for 4,000 bells. That's fine. Alright. Yo, CJ. I want to compete. Please? Man, look at that. Uh, dab slash olive flounder on the cooler. <laughs> Look at his little mouth. He looks so cute. And yeah, massive Splatoon vibes from those logos for sure. Start casting. Alright, let's go. Where dem fish? Please don't be one at this corner. Okay, good. <laughs> That's like the one dreaded corner that always seems to get me. Man, there's no fish here. Where are the fish at? Hello fish? Did I fish all the fish out of the waters? Okay, seriously, wh where are the fish? Hello? Hello fish? Okay, what? <laughs> How has nothing spawned? Fish? Okay, <laughs> one fish. Oh, he's not going to see it, is he? Nope. I'll have to recast here. Alright, cool. First fish is a black bass. My most hated fish. <laughs> Even worse than the sea bass. Can you imagine? like another one here. Look at Pierce with his cap on. So cute. Ooh, first bite. First bite. I feel like I've gotten into such a good rhythm today that catching fish feels really easy just because of how much I've done. Like it's ridiculous the amount of fish that I've caught today. I gotta get those 300 points, you know. Must happen. I think it'd be interesting if on the different seasonal fishing tourneys you got different items as rewards. I'm not sure if that will happen. Even if it was just different colour variants or something just to make it a bit more interesting. Because I don't want it to be like, oh I've got all the stuff on the first tourney so uh, that's everything and then I never enjoy another fishing tourney again. I hope there's something different about each one. Even if it's just like a color variant or a new item or something like that. Just some kind of incentive to keep me doing this fishing madness um, over and over and over again. Man, this has been a really weird run because there's been like no fish spawns. I'm probably only gonna get five fish here. Which is kind of nuts. Yep, five fish it is. Gosh. How am I gonna get the 300 this way? If you keep on not spawning the fishies. Also, I do like to play in this overhead view by tilting the right analog stick. Because I find it easier to cast and also just to see the fish in general. So that's why I'm playing with this overhead view. Oh look, I think I've done it. Picked a fishing tourney net total. Net total. Of over 300 points, you're a casting legend. Wait till my subscribers hear about this. <laughs> Way to make waves. Got something special for surging to such high watermark. Oh man, this guy's puns are crazy. Alright, I do have a lot of points now that are spare. So I should be able to get a bunch of cool stuff. So here, let me sell this. 
Only 2,800, man. <laughs> that was a real bad run for the last one, but hey-ho. That is okay. Um, there's something else. Um, I want to swap my points for slag. So this is how you get the- oh my gosh, I have 175. <laughs> That's like another 17 items, by the way. So, you know what? I think I'll- oh, I can fire through this real quick. That's fine. Um, so yeah, <laughs> while I just fire through this uh, real real fast here, um, the town is looking slightly different. Um, over the past few days, I have been doing some terraforming and some landscaping, and while it's by no means nearly done, I have actually um, managed to finish the main bulk of landscaping uh, in terms of the cliffs. So all of my cliffs are now where I want them to be, for the time being and um yeah i think a, a massive chunk of the work has been done most of it now is moving all of the villager houses and decorating sorting out all of the trees and the flowers and everything and just doing decorating as i get more furniture which is just going to be a long-term goal you know I'm, i might get one piece of furniture that kicks off you know, an idea for a whole new area, so it's very much something that is ongoing. Uh, but I'll show you around uh, what I've done thus far. As soon as I <laughs> spend my ridiculous amount of points with CJ. Gosh, I don't know if I should put these in storage or just sell them. I don't know if I really need duplicates of this stuff, but I've worked hard, so I, I feel like I don't want to sell them, but, you know... <laughs> I really like to hoard stuff. Um, I do need bigger storage though, so I may just have to put them outside for the time being. Set up a little fishing area. Hey, I'm browsing your backloggery. This is interesting. I'm going to register. Yeah, backloggery is a fantastic site um, where you can keep track of all your video games that you haven't played <laughs> or have played. Um, in my case, it's it's mostly haven't played. So. Yeah, it's a good one for sure. Alright, let me go, let me change the camera angle because I'm tired of it being overhead. So um, here's the house. I think it was looking like this before. Um, but I actually did quite a few bits and pieces um, with redecorating the outside because there's this uh, Nook Miles thing here for remodeling your house five times. So I just changed the I think I just changed the mailbox a few times until I got all of these stamps, but it's now um, as I want it to be, which is good. Oh my gosh, I filled the inventory with stuff. Okay, <laughs> don't worry about it, it's fine. Um, so all of the fishing tourney items I have right here, there are 13 items total. So we've got this cool wallpaper, which is really cute. I like it a lot. I especially like the blue fish that has its mouth open up there. <laughs> I think that looks hilarious. Um, we've also got this cool fish print, which looks awesome. And above that, a little fish door plate, which you can put on your front door. We've got two little backpacks down here, which are both adorable. A t-shirt, a wand to change your clothes, this fish rug that I'm standing on. And then over here, we've got an anchor, an umbrella, some fishing rods, this drying rack for, for fishies, and this cooler which you can use as a wardrobe because of course you can. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? So yeah, this is the full collection of all 13 items as well as what I have in my bag right now which is far too many things so I'll be sorting that out later. I think I've actually changed this room around quite a bit since um, I last did a stream. But we'll focus on the house another time, I think. Um, I'll be back here tomorrow for Bunny Day, so we can do Bunny Day and have a proper house tour tomorrow. But for right now, I am going to, gosh, drop all of these things on the floor and I will have to sort them out later. This is a later problem. This, is a, this isn't a problem for my current self. This is a problem for my future self. <laughs> So we'll let future Nicola worry about all this stuff. That is just fine and dandy. 
I'm really happy that there's two backpacks because they are both adorable. So I'll be putting them together and making some cute fish themed outfits, I guess. Which sounds kind of weird to say, but I'm sure it'll be very, very cute. All right, those are all my extras. <laughs> I'll sort them out later. So um, yeah, let's have a quick sweep of the island, shall we? Um, so my cliffs and everything are done. It's probably easier if I look at the map here. So basically the terraforming is mostly done except for little bits of the river that I'm going to fill in when I can build bridges and stuff because we're still waiting on, you know, building one bridge or incline a day. For example, there's going to be an incline right here. And that's just kind of something that has to take as many days as it takes. So we're waiting on that happening. Um, I've started to move some of my villager houses. So this is Lily's house and I've made a sort of square area in which I can decorate a little bit depending on which um, animal it is, what kind of things they like. I'll put some stuff outside to kind of mimic how that animal lives, but on the outside. So hilariously, <laughs> this is um, Dizzy's new spot, his new and exciting place. Dizzy's house is currently here. <laughs> So Dizzy's house is moving like a few squares back and slightly to the left. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's silly, but it has to be done. And this move cost me 50,000 bells because of course it did. But fortunately I'm, I'm not short on money, so money is uh, not an issue. Yeah, the map symmetry, I know. Um, I was fortunate enough to have the two river mice um, be symmetrical. And my resident services is in the middle as well. So, which is basically why I picked my map. I was like, okay, resident services in the middle, perfect. And it just so happened that the river to the ocean mouse were also in the same place. So, um, really my thinking, I, I like it being symmetrical because I've been given the opportunity. I know that there's a lot of maps that have river mouse on the side and stuff. So I figured I would make a symmetrical map just because I can. Um, but really the plan with it is the higher up you go, the more natural and rustic it is. Um, and the further forward you are, it's gonna be more built up and all the shops and everything and all the houses. So it's just kind of a tiered system of the island. Um, but yeah, it, it does kind of look like a tower. I said it looked like uh, the Eye of Sauron, which is still holds true. <laughs> it wasn't my intention, but we kind of have a, a slight Eye of Sauron town. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, thanks for following, friend. Sorry, I'm like mid mid rant here. Um, so I'm gonna keep talking because <laughs> I have like so many things in my head at the moment. Um, so this is Whitney's house. Whitney is not home right now, but she is one of my newer villagers that I invited via amiibo card um, because I didn't have a snooty personality type villager. So we have her now. Um, I am collecting many tires. If anyone wants to donate tires to the tire cause, please do because I need lots of tires because I really like using these tire toys as a fence and you can change them into quite a few different colors. So these are, um, this is sort of like a, a fence idea that I'm working with for, for Whitney's house at the moment. So she's all set up, we might find her. Um, I think she was up on the cliffs actually. If I, don't go over there right now. <laughs> Stick to the plan. Okay, um, down here we have Sarano's house. Now he actually asked, um, well, didn't ask. He he made the suggestion, you know, oh, I think I'm going to move out. And I said to him, no, don't move out, because I actually really like Sarano. So I think he's going to be my resident grumpy villager um, for the time being. There are quite a few grumpy villagers I like, but um, Sarano has kind of grown on me and I really like his house. So again, I'm just sort of, I've got these little markers down for, you know, identifying sizing and stuff. So all of this is not completely done. 
but here is um, what it looks like in terms of the villagers' house goes here, and then this is their garden area. That's kind of how I'm handling this so that everyone has a little bit of space to do their own thing. Um, and then we kind of have all of these original house placements. So here's like Phoebe's house and, and Carlos, who is out here looking very dapper in his little hat <laughs> and everything. I will get this balloon because this is not a bunny day balloon. This is a legitimate balloon. So I, I would very much like its contents if it would hurry up and float over here. <laughs> Worried about it falling in the water. Uh, let me have a look here. It is cash money. So, yes, this is sort of um, the most finished houses over here and then everything else is still very unfinished. Um, in terms of, you know, the water and everything, this will connect and be replaced by an actual bridge, but for now it's just uh, terrain because it's a bit easier for me to get around while I'm still working on building bridges. I have, however, built a bridge over here which looks very pretty. So this is um, this is what it'll look like on the other side too, keeping everything symmetrical and everything. So my shops are here. I think I'd maybe moved one of my shops last time. Um, I did a stream, so we still have Nook's Cranny. Um, hasn't upgraded yet, so I'm waiting on that to happen still. Work in progress. And then over here we have this <laughs> barren wasteland because I've removed all the trees in order to arrange them properly. Um, so it's a little bit spooky over here at the moment, not much done. Here's Pierce in his Nintendo cap, what a guy. Um, but yeah, as, as we come over this way, um, we have all these houses I think were here. Um, I think these were the three houses that I put down for designing my first plots. So these are all here. Um, but something that's happened is I've invited another amiibo villager to kind of test something out. It's something I want to do anyway, but it's also to test something. So Marshall here, whom I love with all of my heart, is going to be moving in. And in order for him to move in, I've had to ask somebody to leave. Now, who I've asked to leave is actually Cookie. Now Cookie is someone that I want to keep in my town long term. However, because she was part of the original five villagers, from what I've read and tried to research, the five villagers that you originally have, their house doesn't change. They have a generic house based on their personality as opposed to a unique house based on them. And because of this, Cookie was one of those five. And um, I'm having to ask her to move. And the plan is to re-invite her later so that she'll have her proper furniture and everything. So it's gonna be really interesting to see if there's a restriction on re-inviting her and also whether or not she will remember me. And I'm assuming it's gonna be no. So I think that's how it was in New Leaf is that basically the amiibo invite wipes the character clean, they don't, you know, recall you at all. But um, Cookie's on her way out, but she'll be back. So don't worry about her, she'll just go and have a little adventure and then she'll be back to us soon. Because I really like Cookie. Cookie is very cute and um, I definitely need a peppy villager, so... As much as I did like her interior, it is the generic... Um, sort of peppy interior and I really want to see what her actual house looks like so that's the plan at the minute. Marshall seems to be a favorite of many, I know he is but like he's just so cute. I mean I, I really liked him in New Leaf because he had um, a really cool house as well, he had all the sloppy furniture. Look at him eating a sandwich. I mean look at him. How can you not love Marshall? So yeah, Marshall will be coming in. Um, I didn't talk to him, so he was just like, oh. Just walked in and straight back out again. Um, 
So yeah, at the moment in my head, I have decided on nine of my final villagers and I am currently wrestling with myself to decide on the 10th villager, which is difficult. It's either going to be a second peppy villager or a second smug villager because one of the new animals that they introduced in this game is called Raymond and he's a cat and his design I love and I I really want to meet him and I think based on um, hopefully meeting him I can't do this via amiibo card because he doesn't have one he's a new character so I think I'll just keep my tenth spot open and we'll see if we uh, stumble across him but uh, Whitney's here She's the, the newest in town. Gosh. Unfortunately, you can't have any, like, normal conversations with villagers because they're all fishing. But I really like Whitney. Um, she is lovely. So she's, she's in the newest in town. And up over here is where I'm keeping all my flowers. I'm working on um, doing some hybrid breeding. So I've got my little section up here for, for watering. Um, Again, it's all work in progress, but um, this is what I've collected so far in terms of flowers. I'm still missing... I don't have lilies, which is just heartbreaking to me that Lily Grove doesn't have lilies, but um, here we are. We're still in this state of not having lilies or roses or mums. And I also need uh, red cosmos as well. So the, the flower situation is very much a work in progress, but um, at least my tulips are doing fine. <laughs> this is my native flower, so we're good for tulips. And these are all my uh, foreign fruit trees. So all my pears are currently <laughs> in this ridiculous forest uh, for storage purposes. We'll move them around later. Um, but yeah, I, I just built this ramp as well actually today. This was how we get up into the, the highest point of the, the map here. Again, tree storage. It's, it's a problem. <laughs> Eventually I will sort all this out, but for right now we're still in the midst of terraforming. Everything's just a little bit messy. Um, and up here is the highest point of the town. The museum's here. I kind of don't really like this area because the museum, you can kind of hide behind it. So there is potential to move the museum up another layer or I might just raise the land to form a wall so that you can't climb it. But um, I do like this area here. I need to figure out a piece of furniture or something. Potentially lighthouse. I don't know how big the lighthouse is but we have this little um, area that we can hop around with and I've got stepping stones to get across so I do like this area but it's not quite there yet. Um, just some little bits and pieces that I need to sort out, figure out how how it's gonna look um, with some scenery and stuff so more foreign fruit trees over here and my nice collection of cedar trees as well just in this huge line. Ah, this will all look fine one day. Today is not that day, but one day this will all be tidy. Also got some bamboo here as well to eventually make a nice a nice area. Man, look how cute Dizzy looks in his little jacket. Oh, he's adorable. So yeah, it's I can't really talk to any of my villagers because they're all in fishing mode, but aside from that, we're kind of um a bit more up to date, I think, with the old tour of the town and everything. So, um, yeah, I've still got some inclines to build and bridges to build. You can have, I believe, eight inclines and eight bridges. I will not be using that many. I think I've got, what, six inclines and four bridges. So everything's pretty well connected. I don't feel like I need to add much more. Um, the main thing that I need to work on is the little villager houses and their gardens because I want to make everything personal to each animal. I think that's like the main goal at the moment is just making their gardens look cute so that they, you know, you could imagine them using it um, and just tidying up like, you know, all these bridges and stuff that are going to be like walkways and stuff. 
Hey, Celo, thanks for the follow, friend. I can relax a bit now. <laughs> I was like determined to get all this information out um, in time. Come on, the fish aren't biting, Lily. Oh, you can do it. Man, Lily's so cute. So yeah, this is, we can relax in Lily's garden here. This is nice. Um, I put a little watering can on the ground. I thought that was cute. I customized it to be green because um, I thought it looked nice and green. And she's got this pond area. See, I almost made her an actual pond with waterscaping and I might still do that because, you know, she is a frog. I feel like she should have access to water. But her house is near the river, so I guess she could go for a little swim if she wanted to. Man, she's adorable. Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> so she's she's into reading and gardening, so I might put some books and stuff out here when I get them. Um, I think I have a little book stand, but something interesting actually. Let me see if I can find it. I got a recipe and one of the recipe ingredients was book for this tiny library. I do not have book. I don't know how to obtain book. I really want book. So hopefully I'll find book and then with book I can make <laughs> tiny library. I don't know. Um, I also have this recipe for a flower stand which I have none of these flowers, so that kind of made me sad that I can't make this yet. Um, and Marshall today, he requested a golden candlestick for his um, campsite item. So I had to make, I had to use two gold nuggets to get Marshall in here with his uh, golden candlestick. So yet another villager with very expensive taste. Um, <laughs> God damn it, Marshall. So yeah. Um, that's another thing, um, the cherry blossom season just ended. I took some nice photos uh, last night. Oh, it's now not in seasonal recipes, that's interesting. I took some photos uh, last night of the, the final cherry blossom moments, um, but I did manage to get all of the recipes and I have, I think about 50 cherry blossoms in storage. So I'm good for these items. I can make them anytime that I want. Um, so that was miss mission success in terms of uh, cherry blossom season. That was fun. Also, look, it's the leaf mask, which was previously Makar's mask, I think, or Korok mask. I don't know if it was specifically Makar, but it's definitely Makar's mask from Zelda. <laughs> Just uh, slightly, slightly differently named leaf mask instead. So yeah, my, my recipes are actually coming along pretty nicely. I've managed to collect some of the fruit recipes that aren't native to my town. So that was good. Um, I think it was yesterday or the day before. I actually had um, in the Nook store, my hot item was a pear bed and I made so much money off pear beds. It's like, it's not even funny. They were worth a ridiculous amount of bells. So. My bell situation at the moment is certainly very healthy. I also had a really good turnip week this week. Um, my price for turnips was, I think, 451. So my bell balance is extremely healthy. Um, we can go take a look actually. I do have one more house payment, but I think I'm gonna wait a few more days to see how that turns out because I want to buy turnips tomorrow on Sunday. I don't know if we'll be able to buy turnips because of bunny day, but we'll see. Uh, but at the moment, I have 2.5 million, so we're doing pretty well. Um, just a case of having really good turnip week, basically, and making money off the hot item at Nook's Granny is just really uh, managed to boost my my cash so we're now at a point um where i can afford all of my bridges and inclines which is great that is the the main function of all this money so let me see anything in here no so yeah i i'll upgrade my house but potentially next week hi roxy hi my cat is here 
right at the end of the stream. What perfect timing. You have barely any time to cause trouble. <laughs> what? Yeah, what perfect timing. I know, right? So yeah, I think um, that's probably about it for today. Hello, cat. <laughs> it's okay. You know, you just stand right at the way. I'm sure that's no problem. I know. Yes, hi. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we'll end the stream off here friends to my dismay you cannot sit on rocks in this game which is terribly sad so instead we'll go and sit in lily's garden and um we'll say goodbye roxy you gonna say goodbye as well <laughs> come here all right so um We'll be back here tomorrow, friends. We'll be back here tomorrow for some bunny day action, uh, whatever that may bring. I've managed to collect all of the uh, furniture DIY recipes so far, so that's all good. Um, and then we should get some extra recipes from Zipper tomorrow and finish off all of that and it should be a good time to celebrate bunny day and we can finally say goodbye to the eggs because there's been too many eggs, that's for sure. <laughs> so I'm very happy to be saying goodbye to the eggs. Um, are those the ironwood set furniture? Um, the chairs are, the table I think is called uh, like a natural table or natural end table or something like that. But they do kind of go together quite well. So yeah, Lily's got some, some really nice garden furniture actually, I'm quite jealous. So. Yeah, things, things are coming together slowly. Um, I'm glad most of the terraforming's done, is basically where I'm at with landscaping at the moment. Um, so as the days go on, I'll just collect more cute furniture and fit it into animals' houses wherever appropriate and just finish off the last bits and pieces of bridge building and inclines and all of that stuff. Oh, you're such a sweetheart, Roxy. <laughs> Just gave me a head bump and everything. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go now, friends. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for some bunny day, <laughs> where there may or may not be more interrupting cat. We'll we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> All right, I'll say goodbye for now, friends. Thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs> Bye.